Cheers, everyone. Welcome back to uh, a very special one. Um, this video, we've got two beers I've never had before, so there's going to be two reviews and a slight comparison and a little bit of a, um, my preference at the end, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> the brewery we're visiting is Yorkshire's oldest brewery. We're off to Samuel Smith's. Um, me, Percy, I'm a big, big fan of Samuel Smith's. Um, all their beers have been great examples of the styles they have been. I really have. And um, we've got two beers I've never had before, like I said. And the first beer I'm going to crack open and review is a bottle of Samuel Smith's The Famous Taddy Porter. Super smashing. Great. Clocking in at 5% ABV. I should read the back for you. It says brewed with well water. The original well at the old brewery sunk in 1758. It's still in use with the hard well water being drawn from 85 feet underground. Best served at 55, 13 degrees. <laughs> All right. um, so there you go. This has got pictures of, you know, a bit of the brewing process. So, yeah, brewed, fermented in stone, Yorkshire squares. I think black sheep do that as well. Um, I think. <laughs> Let's crack this open like you do. So, there is plain crown. And I, the thing I like about Samuel Smith also is the retro, the old-fashioned labels they have. You know, the bottle feels quality. The bottle feels really heavy as well for a bottle of beer. It's It's... You know, it just feels really old-fashioned and really, really nice. The Taddy Porter. A little bit of licorice for me. And, of course, the Taddy Porter is named after Tadcaster, where they are based. So, let's pour this out. Um, one of my favourite ever stouts is a Samuel Smith stout, and that is the Organic Chocolate Stout. And it's... If you've never had that, it is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So stick that there like you do. So, beer in a glass. Yeah. Jet black, as you can see. Off white head. Um, it looks, you know, it looks like I should have a cloth cap on. You know. <laughs> Old suit on. <laughs> It, it, it takes me back in time when you see beers like this, you know, especially with labels on that as well. Um, the aroma out of the glass. Again, you get an inkling of licorice, but not much. So I'm going to go in. So cheers, everybody. There's a slight sweetness to it. Hardly any roastiness there. What you're getting is sweet licorice for me out of anything. It's very, there is a lot of licorice for me in this beer. Not very bitter, but it feels old-fashioned it feels old school it feels you're going back in time with this it's it's a lovely lovely beer it is it's very gentle easy drinking it makes me think of old men sitting in a corner with a whippet in a way and yeah it is it's really really good really really good um, cracking one more for the road like you do that's lovely it is, it's really nice so that's a little bit of a mini review of that it's a nice beer by the way boys and girls now the next beer I'm doing is the celebrated oatmeal stout super smashing great there's the back side this is clocking at five percent also 
Um, I'll says it. I'll, I'll read you the back. It says brewed with the well water. The original well at the old brewery sunk in seventeen fifty eight. Be like it says on the back of the tally boy. Is still in use with the hard well water being drawn from eighty five feet underground, fermented in stone Yorkshire squares to create. An almost opaque, wonderfully silky, smooth textured ale, complex, medium dry palate, and bitter, bittersweet um, finish. It's got serving to suggestions of Italian foods, lob, lobster, steak, and kidney pie, <coughs> French cheeses, 13 degrees, same temperature as that, <coughs> same strength. Excuse me, got the ear cups. Crack it open. Same crown. See what we get from the neck. Slight hint more smokiness there. Nothing much else. So let's pour this out like you do. I've had this beer before, only once. Long time ago. Really, really liked it. Um, thought it was fantastic. Um, like with all the Samuel Smith beers, you know, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit old fashioned. If, if there's care taken into the presentation of the beer, it's very rare you're going to get a beer which doesn't live up to, you know, you know, the presentation. If you know what I mean. So, beer in a glass, jet black. Um, slightly lighter head than the Taddy Porter. The aroma. Yeah, I mean, it does, you do get, hit, get a hint of sweetness there. Hint of chocolate. Nothing much else for me at the moment, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go in. Cheers. Mm. It's sweeter, creamier. Pick up a slight hint of, dare I say, bags of oats. <laughs> um, it it feels very creamy. Hint of chocolate there, for me. Something of coffeeness there. It's very, very nice. It is really, really nice. It's it's so nice. It's it's <laughs> it's got lovely elements of old school stuff. Cream, you know. Doesn't say a thing about fortified either. It it just feels so nice. It's creamy, sweet, chocolatey in a way. You know, it's, it's it's just got a lovely silky feel to the to the mouth feel. It's lovely, it really is. It's absolutely lovely. So this is gonna be good. this is gonna be hard. Let's bring in the Taddy Porter. Now both beers I think are exceptional. They are absolutely lovely. Um, let's bring them both in. Let's do a comparison. So, visually, visually, let's look at let's look at the bottles first. Visually, um, you can see they both look pretty stunning in their own right. You know, lovely old school labels. The back sides of them, plenty of information. More information on the uh, oatmeal style, I have to say. Being a glass, both jet black, more head on the uh, oatmeal stout, um, the aromas, for me the oatmeal stout's just bringing a little bit more out, a little bit more sweetness. Definitely creaminess. It feels, it smells as though it's got more to offer. 
than the Taddy Porter, definitely. So now it's down to the taste. Oatmeal stout, creamy, sweet, silky smooth, absolutely gorgeous. Taddy Porter. It's more licorice, slightly more licorice, not as sweet. Mouthfeel is still pretty smooth. It holds up against the oatmeal stout. So for me, it's it's oh, it's very very close, very very close. Because I really like both beers, really like both beers. But there has to be a winner in this one, boys and girls. So I'm going to move them across. And tell you what I think about both beers. Both beers for me are fantastic. Great examples of their styles. Lovely little bit of history narrative behind them. But if I have to choose a winner. If I only have three quid to spend on one of them. Which one would it be? I have to say. I love the Taddy Port. I really do. But if I was in a shop and I, I, I can only buy one of them, I'll move for the oatmeal stout by a cat's whisker. It is they are more or less identical. They are a dead heat of perfect examples of their styles, and that is what Samuel Smith. <coughs> excuse me, that's what Samuel Smiths are really, really good at. So go out and get some. Go out and get some Samuel Smiths. Fantastic stuff. Thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, please subscribe, me in the comments. See all of you on my next one. Cheers.